everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Christina and I'm the Education Coordinator with the DuPage County Farm Bureau. Today, we're going to be talking all about pumpkins, how pumpkins are grown, their history, um, how pumpkin processing works. Um, so let's jump in and hopefully you'll learn something new that you didn't know before. So what actually are pumpkins? Pumpkins are a member of the gourd family. So they're related to things like cantaloupe and cucumbers and melons. Um, pumpkins are also a fruit. Um, this is because they come from the flower of um, a plant and they have seeds. So just like a tomato is technically a fruit, so is a pumpkin. Pumpkins are also a specialty crop. Um, so these are things like fruits and vegetables and tree nuts. So pumpkins are a specialty crop and they are grown on every continent except Antarctica. But pumpkins are actually native to Central America. Now the Native Americans in North America have been growing pumpkins long before the settlers came over from Europe. So Native Americans use this really cool growing method called the three sisters growing method. So they would plant three different crops, corn, beans, and pumpkins, together in the same field. And these crops would actually help each other grow. So corn would grow up nice and tall and that stalk of the corn would actually help hold the beans up. The bean vine would go, grow and wrap around the corn stalk. Now the beans put nitrogen back into the soil. Nitrogen is a nutrient that corn needs to grow. So the beans put nitrogen in to help the corn grow. And then the pumpkins, um, once they grow, they're going to fan out big leaves and vines all across the field. And these leaves and vines are actually going to cover the soil so that it helps it from drying out. Um, it keeps the soil nice and moist with that um, moisture locked into the soil. So all three of these crops actually help each other grow. So that's pretty cool. Now pumpkins are also used for quite a few things. Um, they used to be um, woven into mats using the rinds. And then they were also thought to be remedies for a lot of different weird things like freckles and snake bites. But I'm pretty sure that both of those are wives tales and you should not try to use pumpkins as a remedy for either one of those things. Um, now the original pumpkin pies actually looked a lot different than what we think of pumpkin pies today. Um, the early pumpkin pies were actually baked right into the pumpkin shell. Um, they would scrape out the inside of the pumpkin and then fill it with milk and spices and honey and mix it all together and then bake the whole thing right into the pumpkin shell. So that was pretty cool. So our pumpkin pies look quite a bit different today. So let's look at the pumpkin life cycle. Um, we all know that pumpkins start as seeds. When we open up our jack-o'-lanterns in the fall, we see that it's full of seeds. Each one of those seeds can become a pumpkin if it's planted. So pumpkins take about 120 days to mature. So they are planted in the spring, usually April or May, and then they're going to be harvested in the fall. So once the pumpkin seeds are planted, they are going to sprout, and then they're going to put out leaves and vines. Now pumpkins are what we call a cucurbit. So they have both a male and female flower. And now, Female flowers have to be pollinated in order for them to grow into pumpkins. And you probably have heard about pollination and usually we think of honeybees or butterflies as the main pollinators. Well, for pumpkins, there's actually a pollinator, pollinator called a squash bee. Um, and it is the biggest pollinator of pumpkins. So I've got a picture here. You can see what squash bees look like. They look similar to honeybees. Uh, they're a little bit bigger and then they have really furry legs so that the pollen will stick to their legs and be moved from flower to flower. Now on the picture on the left here, this is a picture of a female pumpkin blossom. You can see this little bulb down here. That's what's actually going to turn into the pumpkin once that flower is pollinated. So once the flower is pollinated, it's going to start growing into a pumpkin. Um, they usually start out small and green, and then as they grow, they'll get bigger, they'll start to change colors, turn orange, and then when they're ready for harvest, um, they're nice and big and orange, and their rind is hard, um, and they'll be ready for picking. Now there are a lot of different pumpkin varieties. Um, pumpkins are usually used for decoration, carving, or eating. So we've got our pie pumpkins um, on the inside. They usually have more flesh. They're thicker, um, they're more like guts. And then we've got our carving pumpkins like jack-o'-lanterns. Um, and so those have a thinner uh, rind. So they're easier to cut through. They have less guts on the inside. Um, so they're really good for carving. 
And then we have our other decorative pumpkins that are maybe different colors like green or white. Um, and they are really pretty. So pumpkins come in all different sizes too. Pumpkins can range anywhere from one pound to 2,000 pounds. There are actually people who grow giant pumpkins um, and they will have contests to see how big of a pumpkin they can grow. So you can see in this picture here, this is a picture of a giant pumpkin and it's weighing over a thousand pounds for sure. Now you may have heard that Illinois grows a lot of pumpkins. Illinois is actually the number one pumpkin grower in the United States. As of 2017, there were 572 pumpkin farms and we grow 90 to 95% of the pumpkins that are used for processing. More in Illinois, you can see on the map over here, I have it circled. More in Illinois is called the pumpkin capital of the world. And this is where Libby's processing plant is. Um, and they grow a lot of pumpkins and they, they process those pumpkins and can them there. So North Central Illinois is a really good place for pumpkins to grow. So I want to finish up here with this video um, from Libby's Pumpkin so that you can see how the pumpkins grow and the machines that they use. Because Libby's Pumpkins is growing canning pumpkins um, that are going to be used for eating. So they use machines to pick all of their pumpkins. But if we were going to pick jack-o'-lanterns, um, those are going to be picked by hand. So they've got some special equipment that they use. So let's take a look. Jennifer Baker and I'm here in Morton, Illinois, the pumpkin capital of the world. I came here because I wanted to learn how pumpkins are grown. This is where they grow pumpkins for Libby's pumpkin. You know that pumpkin pie your parents sometimes make over the holidays? Well, they use Libby's pure pumpkin. So I knew I could find some pumpkin experts to help me get started. So come with me. Can you tell me what kind of pumpkins you grow for Libby's? Yes, we grow the Dickinson variety. It's a variety that the, the old settlers brought to the Morton area back in the 20s. So it's not a Halloween pumpkin? No, it, it's a completely different shape and a different color than the Halloween pumpkin. Halloween pumpkin are very bright orange. These are a dull tannish brown and a lot thicker meat than what a jack lantern pumpkin has. What's the secret to growing a good pumpkin? Perfect weather, good soil, uh, lots of sun. Yes, once it, it comes out of the ground, uh, you'll see two little cotyledon leaves come out, and then it just explodes with leaves coming out. Within six weeks, the field will be completely covered with vines. We're in a pumpkin field that is about midway through its growth. And as you can see, there are lots of flowers, and then there's also lots of pumpkins coming on. Here's a flower, several of them, and then here is one that has turned into a pumpkin. The pumpkin will start putting on blooms, which means you need bees. Well, the bee goes from the male flower that has the pollen and transfers it to the female flower. And from there, once it's pollinated, it becomes a little baby pumpkin. The process at that time is very, very rapid. You can almost see it grow from morning to evening. Wow, that's amazing. How many pumpkins does Libby's pumpkins grow every year? Well, every year we grow literally millions of pumpkins. We can uh, make about 90 million pies. Next time I come back, it will be time to harvest the pumpkins and can them for pumpkin pies during the holiday season. This field will be full of pumpkins. I hope it will be cooler than two, because boy, I'm hot. Well, it's September now. Summer's over and we're all back in school. You may even be watching this video for your next science project. The good news is, these pumpkins have had a great summer and are ready for harvesting. Look how big they've grown. 
Pretty impressive, huh? How do you know when a pumpkin is ready to harvest? Well, Jennifer, we look at the color of the, the pumpkin and make sure it's nice and brown. As you can see here, the stem is starting to turn brown. Uh, the bottom is has no, no green spots. And for uh, eyeball effect, I'll take and cut into it and look at the color of the, of the pumpkin. That pumpkin is ready for harvest, Jennifer. That's a beautiful orange color. We have a, a machine that comes in early and puts the pumpkin in rows. And then we have another machine that comes along and scoops them up into an elevator directly into the semi-truck. The pumpkins come in on the semi-trailer. They are tilted up and they're unloaded onto the conveyor. The conveyor then meters the pumpkins in and they go through a tumble drum below us where we're spraying them with water. And then they are transferred onto the conveyor and they go up into another tumble drum of water and then on into a couple more wash steps where we uh, clean them thoroughly and then we'll take them into the plant where we'll chop them and start processing be in a can of uh, Libby's pumpkin. And then an hour and a half later, we go from raw pumpkin to canned pumpkin. So is there only pure pumpkin in the can? Yeah, there is only pure pumpkin in the can. So you know a lot about pumpkins. Well, we have a team here that has been uh, part of making Libby's pumpkins for over 80 years. So there's a lot of expertise in making pumpkin here. Absolutely. It's time to go, but it's been fun learning how Libby's grow their delicious pumpkins. I can't wait for the holidays to try that pumpkin pie. Yum. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you learned something new about pumpkins and we will see you next time. Bye.